This is Patrick Seville's Ocean Born Lures. This one's called the Flying Pencil 160. It is six and one third inches long, which is 160 millimeters. It is 90 grams or three ounces. Now during the cast, there's this weights, there's the, uh, the BBs that go back and forth. So when you cast it, all the BBs will go to the back. Now as you know, see this rib section on the bellies? Now the ribs causes um, the, the lure on the retrieve to have a lot of disturbance. So it's gonna, um, that disturbance is gonna attract a lot of fish because of the, uh, the ruffled reaction it's gonna have. Also the, right here, you notice this area here, this wing? That wing there helps with the air lift during the cast. Also with the belly section like this, it, it also creates better airflow when doing the cast. So it's gonna go a little bit farther because of less air resistance. Resistance. Now this blue color here is called the mullet. Now the previous 160, the blue one, was an SL. This is that was a sinking model. This is an FL. It's a floating model. Now this is the flying pencil 140. Is five and a half inches long, uh, otherwise 140 millimeters. This one is two ounces, which is 56 grams. And as you notice, this tool has the um, ribbing on the belly, so it's going to have the same attributes. It's going to have the wing above the bellies, same attributes as the previous model. Check out this one, SLD. That means super long distance, specially weighted. So the weights will go towards the back end on a cast. SLD means you're gonna get extreme casting distance when you throw this puppy out. All right, this is the Flying Pencil 160. It is six and one third inches long or 160 millimeters. Four and a half ounces. That's four and a half ounces, pretty heavy which is 126 grams. For me, this will kill my shoulder all day casting it, but some people may like it. Just be sure that your rod is rated um, to accept this kind of weight. As with the other ones before, it has the uh, rib belly. So when you're tossing it out, it's going to create um, air pockets that the lure will glide on. You're gonna get more distance. The weight system will move in the back. Also making this ass heavy, giving you more distance. And uh, you're gonna have, see this wing here? That, that clear thing right here is actually a wing that will catch the airflow to help glide your lure out. When you bring it back in, you got this, also these knurled ribs here will help you give a lot of water distortion and hopefully you'll attract some big boys. Okay, this is the last of the flying pencils I want to show you from Patrick Seville. This is called the Flying Popper 140. And the reason why it's so brightly colored, it glows in the dark, it's phosphorescent. So this is what you want to use for night use. Five and a half inches, 140 millimeters, four ounces or 112 grams. This is what is called Lime Glow Chartreuse. So if you want to go at night, this is the one for you. Now this, this one here, I haven't tried yet, but the others work pretty good. So this is what I want to cover. Um, we just got through doing the um, expo show at the Ala Moana Hotel in Honolulu, Hawaii. It was sponsored by Izuo Brothers. So these are some of the products that were um, put on display at Izuo Brothers. These here were on the Akuma table, so I just want to relay this to you. Thank you. Okay, showtime. Izuo Brothers has their show going on. So I'm supposed to show you some of the uh, new items on the Yakuma table. This here are the lure lock cases. The lure lock cases have a sticky inside so you won't have your, your hooks or your, your, your other type of gear um, banging around, getting mixed up. Everything stays in. This is great for your lures. And one of the lures you're gonna be showing will be this. Patrick Sibyl's poppers. 
we have um, glow in the dark we have floating poppers and sinking poppers so come to the show and check us out